morning and hey, welcome to the weekend almost with this blue sky and traffic moving along at the bottom of the screen there. All over the state we are celebrating the sunshine. I mean, it's going to be beautiful at the coast. Look at that, Look at that shot of Astoria, all the blue with Newport. the water there. That looks like oh. Newport. Is it Newport? Yes, Newport. Beautiful. Oh yeah. my gosh. I, see I just say Oregon sky. Coast usually. That, that's pretty safe. <laughs> that's Oregon it's Coast. The coast. I thought, some water. Yeah, I think we have Cannon Beach camera in Newport. I don't know where I came up with that story. <laughs> and it is National Arbor Day. So look at these crews hard at work at the Arboretum already. They've been out there for a couple hours. They're going to be going till noon today. Uh, it looks like they're pulling out Ivy, which is like the worst job ever. <laughs> oh, that's Happy is Arbor tough Day. Stuff. Welcome and to the worst job. And they volunteered. They're volunteers. They volunteered to do this. Them. Yeah, Good so we them. wondered oh what we can do in our own yards this weekend to <gasps> celebrate Arbor Day. I don't know. You ladies have any plans? You're much more handy than I. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I maybe ripped out a patio and maybe now don't know what to do. And she oh, has a plant trees mess. there for Arbor Day. <laughs> yeah, real quick like. <laughs> Did you really wonder what you could do? I was thinking, how could I avoid yard work? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm like, do we have to do Well, that? no. It's a time to plant trees. And the question would be, what kind of trees can you plant that will be really hard in yeah. this climate. And something so, smaller than I usually plant. Yeah, so yeah. we put that uh, question to Cassidy Quinn to get some expert advice at the Arboretum along with that work crew this morning. Cassidy? Yeah, Tracy, maybe you can uh, get these volunteers after Arbor Day is over to come over and help you in your yard. But you, you guessed it, they are pulling out ivy from around this tree. We are in the Hoyt Arboretum. There's two different work crews of about 20 people total volunteering to spend, yes, Arbor Day. We're talking about planting trees, encouraging people to plant trees, and just saving trees and having healthy trees in general. So we have the curator with us, Martin Nicholson. So we talked about ivy. Uh, Tracy Berry back in the studio did guess that's what they're doing, but what are these volunteers overall doing for Arbor Day? So we did some um, removal of some brush. We actually had a tree that had fallen down in the winter in the snow, so it had a lot of storm damage this winter. So they spent the first uh, about hour today just cleaning up storm damage and debris, and now they're doing some invasive species removal. So ivy and blackberry and some invasive holly as well. Now you have more crews coming tomorrow, but then if people don't want to work, there's also an opportunity there for them is. to enjoy so, the Arboretum. So we love it when people come out and help us maintain the Arboretum, but um, also tomorrow we have our spring color tour. So at noon tomorrow, oh. folks can come out to the Hoyt Arboretum Visitors Center and um, just turn up and we're going to have, so we have some great tour guides who are going to lead a spring color bloom tour. Awesome. If people want to bring some, you know, spring blooms into their own yard, are there trees you'd recommend planting? Well, yeah, I mean, one of the things that we always, it's hard to make a blanket recommendation. Everyone's yard's a little bit different. But you said there's like 2,000 trees Yeah, or we have like 2,200 <laughs> species of trees and shrubs in the Arboretum. And so there's always a great tree for your yard and what works. Yeah. But one thing, um, magnolias are really popular at this time of year. And um, yellow blooming magnolia, there's one called Elizabeth and another one called Miss Honeybee, which are fantastic yellow blooming magnolias. They're really cold hardy, really great trees for the yard. So. And then um, if you don't want flowers and you like foliage, um, Japanese umbrella pines are great um, conifer. That's a and, cool name. Yeah, it's uh, Scadopides verticiliata, which is a really Whoa. good, like the botanical name for it. So, um, and it's a really great uh, tree for the yard as well. Once you've picked your tree, I'm sure there's plenty of mistakes people can make when planting their trees. So do you have tips for people? Yeah, I think the biggest thing people do is they, um, when they take it out of the container, they just dig a, a hole the same size as the container and just cram the tree into that hole in the ground and they don't deal with the root system. A lot of times the roots get a little um, circle around the pot. We want to loosen those roots up and then we want to dig a hole that's um, three times as wide as the pot oh. and only just as deep as the pot is and probably a little shallower. Um, the worst thing you can do with a tree is plant it too deep in the ground and that can be really damaging. So we always want to loosen up those roots, dig a nice wide shallow hole and put the tree in that and we'll have a lot more success. Smart. Yeah. Now if people don't want to plant trees, you were saying there's actually some other kind of tree saving things people can do just in their daily lives. Sure, there's um, one of the really big things folks can do is um, using recycled products, recycled paper. So the um, production of paper uses a lot of trees. So um, we can use um, also with wood products, we can look for um, certified sustainable wood products. Um, and so especially if you're using like exotic lumbers, a lot of those um, make sure they're sustainably harvest, harvested. And um, another one we talk about is palm oil. And palm oil has a really big impact on um, rainforests. And so we look for like certified palm oil products. There are, there are a lot of products that don't have any palm oil in them at all is really important as well. 
Excellent. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. So many tips. I'm going to let these volunteers continue to work. We learn things while they have worked hard, guys, for Arbor Day. I don't know if you guys noticed. Uh, we actually got some sunshine in the middle of the segment. So an excellent day to go plant some trees, right? It's going to be an excellent weekend. Well, yeah. that explains a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, that <laughs> digging hole. the hole three times the size yeah. of the root ball, the root ball, what yeah. it was. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You got some ideas today for your right. garden. That's, that's more work than I really want to do at my home. But